well, this was a little different from the previous problem because we had an initial kinetic energy, but most importantly, we had to use the idea that when you're changing direction, your speed is zero. And they didn't even tell us we were changing direction. It was just implied in the problem. So that's one of the main things you have to watch out for. And that's a common thing on the tests as well, cases where it's implied that we're changing direction. Once again, I think some students would try to split this up into one, two, three, maybe four different problems, figuring out the speed here, then the speed here, then the speed here, then the height here. But the nice thing about conservation of energy is we can just focus on one initial and one final point. We know there's not going to be any work done in the middle, so we can basically ignore what's happening in the middle. Now, if this was a, a midterm question, what would have been the clue that you want to use a work and energy approach rather than a net force equals MA approach? Because you'll need that on some of the problems, too. Because it gave you velocity and not acceleration. That's true. But you, uh, that's, that's a good answer. But also, what was it asking us about? The vertical height. And we said that's the other thing that this type of question is good at. It's good at answering questions about vertical height. And we saw how that works because the vertical height is part of the potential energy. But your answer is good too. It would be hard to fit information about speed into net force equals MA because that doesn't have a speed portion. Of course, here we were again using the idea that there's no friction. You might see a problem with friction here. But uh, actually, if you were going to see one of those, maybe it would have been in the last midterm. So maybe we won't do any problems with friction. We'll just focus on the conservation of energy type stuff. All right, well, um, so what we've seen here is how to work with kinetic energy and uh, gravitational potential energy. Now, another thing this is really good for answering is questions about springs. So I think we should try a question with a spring that has this. This is a favorite topic on exams. Okay. 